Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Creatures of Aether on iOS with me, Jana. Uh, I'm a little tired today, so I don't expect I'll be playing my best, but I wanted to take a look at it. Looks like there have been bug fixes and things, so that's nice. Huh. So apparently she has the ability to remove passive abilities from already placed creatures for the rest of the game. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, and that removal will last even if that character is moved. Hmm. Ah, frozen creatures stay frozen. It's not an ability. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's sign in. It's been a while. Boink. Let's go ahead. Check what else we can get. Ah, I can get you. Hmm. We don't have ten of you, or you. I think if we did do anybody, it would be this guy, though. Yeah. Blazerdactyl. Alright, do we have anything else? No. Let's just play a bit. Uh, I believe I'm still on Zetaburn. So, yeah. Oof. I hope everybody's having a good holiday season. Maybe you're taking a good break with family. Seeing how friends are doing. Finding those last minute gift ideas. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. At the very least, hopefully, things are looking brighter for you with 2021 around the corner. Okay, we're gonna wait a couple more seconds before we play the AI. Alright, AI time. Alright. Ooh, an AI Edelus. So, I can't remember what he does. Hmm. He freezes people, I think. Let's see. Legendary Water. Uh, Ice Armor. Any creature this creature flips is frozen. They're immune to capture. So, that's not great for us. Right? I'm gonna put you over here. Okay. Metal coat. So that was one of the things they just talked about. Applied by Zolt. It must be broken before it can be flipped. While the metal armor is up, this creature allows combo chains to pass through it. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Well, first I want to flip my other dude. So we'll do that. Okay. Now he's gonna flip somebody and they're gonna be frozen forever. Forever! Alright then. I wonder, does this get rid of freezing? Hmm. Interesting. Well, okay. We've got that metal coat. So now, there's no chance of us flipping that for us anyway. So it's kind of like, why worry about it? And just do this. Okay. We want to flip that snail. It should be relatively easy, right? Relatively. Okay. Nah, that's what I was worried about. I wanted to block them from getting Edelus, but oh well. Hmm. Okay, that's a seven. But, we can do this. And this should burn away all the other pluses and things. I was hoping we could get some use out of this guy, but... Well, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I am going to do something a little weird here. I'm gonna do this. Well, maybe it's not as weird as I thought. I'm just gonna flip two. Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. I can't flip two. 
I'll just put him where he's safe from being flipped. And there we go. So even though we couldn't flip everybody the way we wanted to, it still worked out. Well played. Unlock pass now. We're good. There we go. Oh. But we did get another gift. What do we get here? Get one of you. Hmm. With the new label. What is your ability? Hmm. I'm getting the fire one just for Zetterburn, but no idea if I want that seer scale. Awesome, okay. What about you? A water booster. Blazape. Swell all. Frostbite. Horn Frost. Okay. So we got the water version of it. Oh! We got Edelus. A legendary card, just randomly. Okay. I'll take that. Hmm. Well, with that in mind, let's try to make an Edelus deck. So he swaps something and they become immune to capture. So we could do that on something really weak and make it immune. So that is one thing to consider. Let's go with water dudes for a second here. Because this guy would help us gain some more water panels, which would make it easier for us to flip people. Uh, this guy's just fun to use when you can use him. Hmm. Now, what's your ability again? It's plus four if you currently control cards from all four elements when played, including itself. Okay. So, we probably want something other than water that has that ability. Hmm. What did we get? The fire one? Wheel. There we go. Mm, swirly disc thing. Where did you go? There you are. We'll try and take a look at this guy. Hmm. So once again, he gets plus four if we have all the elements on board. So he's a late game card. Hmm. That incentivizes us to get other things that have all the elements. Let's remove that guy for now. And remind me. I think he powers up. Yeah, plus one for each fire type creature and tile in a 3x3 three three around. Okay. Hmm. So, let's, uh... Maybe go back to all the types. Hmm. You know, 20. We want some cheap stuff. We have stuff that's powerful to the left, not much to the right or bottom or up. Hmm. Right, bottom, or up. Like we could take this little bee guy. And then we probably want stuff that's pointing up. Hmm. That's a water one. There's a wind one. So that's something. And we can have three more. So we want some wimpy guys. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Who is wimpy? Let's go with here. We don't have any great fire dudes yet, so... Let's get this guy. We could make him immune after flipping him. And then we would have a fire type for sure for that. Uh, I'm pretty confident Edelus would be hard to... Sl well, maybe not. But we could hide you in a corner. There's options. Options, options, options. Hmm. Yeah, so we got two water. We probably want two of each, at least. Makes it more likely we'll have stuff left over. Hmm. Let's 
let's go with you. And then we can have another three in there. So it could be a green. I already got one pointing down. You're pointing left. No, we don't have any good threes pointing to the right. Well, I guess that water one. Hmm. So I think we take you. We remove you. And then... We find another green guy. So either that squirrel thing... Go for the camel. Hmm. I think we go for the camel. Alright. So we can try this deck out. Let's try it. No idea if this will work well or not. Most likely not great. But it might be fun. My current thought is we kind of stay on the outside, freeze a dude, and then play our guy that gains plus fours to everything. That's my current theory. We'll see if it works. Hmm. Seems like it's not as busy right now. Okay, then. We'll just play the AI. Ooh, Mabel. That might be dangerous. Hmm. Well, with that being the case, we want to start with kind of our weakest dudes. So we'll do this. Okay, they played the camel. I could play Adelis on that thing. But, I kind of want to play him in the bottom right. Especially since it should be relatively easy to do something like these. Hmm. I'm just thinking anything else we want to try. I think we do this, actually. I take it back, that was dumb. Well, hmm. I think we take the middle. But now I can't flip anybody, can it? Oh, so now we know. Alright. But by that same vein... Well, never mind, he just made it tougher. So we'll do that. I think I'm losing this one. Hmm. I own a water. I own the other thing. Alright. I'm trying this. Okay, it counts itself as the fire type. So that seems pretty good. We'll do this. That's a fun effect. So 11, 7, 7, and 7. Seems pretty good. Alright. Hmm, we can only match that. That's not great. But we'll make this tougher. Maybe that'll be good. Okay, then we can flip that guy, and somehow the AI gave that to us, but maybe Maple will... Nope, nope, we're good. Whew. All right then, I think we'll call it an episode, dear viewer. We kind of learned a little bit more about Edelus, had some fun, opened some cards up, made our own new deck, and ooh, you are a new card. As are you, but we'll take you. Right? Actually, we need more pointing up, I think. So that's why I take you. Have a great day, dear viewer. Leave a like if you enjoyed creature, eh, Creatures of Aether. <laughs> Subscribe to see more I was giving videos. Comment below on who your favorite rival of Aether is. And have a great day.